Within just two years, SEO became a multiple six-figure traffic source for my business. Let's break down the strategy I use for growing your service business with SEO step-by-step. Step. The first step is the most important part of your strategy. This is how you make sure the right people who are interested in buying find your website by targeting the right keywords. Before we get to how to do that, let's get the tool to use out of the way because that doesn't matter as much. You can use Google Keyword Planner, which is free, or a paid tool like Ahrefs or SEMrush, but it's not the tool that'll make the biggest difference. The key is to think about what makes your audience buy from you. Those are the best keywords, like words they use to describe your services, product keywords like find a health coach, and informational keywords like how to cut sugar. Then use the tools to confirm if those actually are words people Google. But a pro tip, avoid keywords that are too competitive. It's difficult to outrank established websites like the New York Times. To set yourself up for success, type your keywords into Google and see what websites come up. If the first page results are full of big websites, use a less competitive keyword. This way, you'll start ranking a lot faster. High five to that. But finding the right keywords is just the first step. Unfortunately, Google doesn't just look at your website to decide how to rank it. A key factor is how many other websites trust your site, where trust is measured by one thing, backlinks. Links on other websites that point to your site. For example, I've had websites like Bloomberg link to my site. That is a good backlink because it shows that a website of Bloomberg's caliber trusts my site. The more high quality backlinks you have, the more Google will trust your website and the higher you'll rank. But some strategies are better than others for getting backlinks. Let's go over three of the best. First, podcast interviews. Research podcasts in your industry and send the podcaster three high value topics you could speak to. When you get interviewed on a podcast, the host will usually link to your website in their show notes. This is one of my favorite strategies because you also easily create great content in the process. Plus, some of my best backlinks have come from this, like being interviewed on Farnoosh Chirabi's So Money podcast. Pro tip. If you're not sure a podcaster would want to interview you, remember you're creating a win-win situation. Your knowledge will help the podcaster create high value content for their audience. But if you're not ready to be interviewed, the next strategy requires zero talking. You can write content for other websites to get a link in return. The process is the same. Send the editor three high quality article ideas you could write for their audience. This is known as guest blogging. Even top sites like Business Insider love guest articles because they need to publish a lot of content. But don't start by pitching the top websites. Start with smaller blogs in your industry. It's a lot easier to get accepted. Once you've built a bit more experience, you'll find it a lot easier to pitch bigger websites. But you don't have to create a full interview or article for every backlink either. You can contribute much shorter snippets to get even higher quality backlinks by helping those who are writing full articles. This is known as helpareporter.com, aka Haro. It connects journalists with story sources like you. You'll get newsletters with requests from journalists who want to feature people in their articles. When your pitch gets accepted, you get backlinks to your website. I believe we should be able to control our results. That's why I love these link building strategies. You can control how many links you get and thus how fast you grow. But while backlinks are incredibly important, they're not the only thing Google looks at. None of your backlinks will matter if your content, what you publish on your blog, isn't good because Google has very specific standards. But first, let's talk about what not to do a huge mistake a lot of people make when they start building their SEO. They think it's enough to embed a YouTube video or a podcast and call it a day. That doesn't work. Every week, millions of blog posts get published. To stand out, you need to create something noteworthy. The best way is to publish high value blog posts. That means your post has to really help your reader understand the topic. In terms of length, a good rule of thumb is to write around 2000 words, but it's not just about value and length either. In fact, a pro tip. Create posts that you would want to read. Write as you speak to make your content easy to read. Include engaging videos and graphics and be as concise as possible. That's how you'll have Google sending you lots of ideal clients, but that's just half the battle. There's another key step most people miss, but without it, you will lose out on a lot of sales. Most people put up a blog post and call it a day, but just getting people to your website doesn't mean they'll buy from you. You also want to have a system to move people from reading your blog to signing up for your email list, but that doesn't have to be complicated either. First, create an opt-in form to get people to sign up for your email list. Give them a valuable lead magnet like a PDF, video, or audio in return for signing up. To make sure people don't miss it, I like to place opt-in forms at least three times throughout my blog posts. But getting people onto your email list isn't the end either. You'll sell your services and products to them via your email marketing. This system grows your business with SEO. It's one of the most profitable traffic sources by far. 
Plus, once you create a blog, it's available forever. So your work continues to pay off, unlike with social media or paid ads. But I also know how overwhelming SEO can feel, especially with all the contradicting information. That's why I created a free training on how to attract clients every day with SEO. You'll discover the three top mistakes that are preventing you from attracting your ideal clients and growing SEO into a multiple six-figure marketing channel. But the best part is that you can grow your SEO even if you're not that technical or are in a boring niche. Plus, you can get a great start by spending just a few hours a week. You can get the training right here. Plus, I'll also link to it in the description. Enjoy.